Morning, everyone. Morning. That is a boat. That is a maddie man. Morning. We are at Shoreham. We was going to go to Celsi again after them tote, but Sam had the other day, but um, on the, literally on the way down here, we checked the weather and it had changed a little bit for the worse for Celsi. Um, the wind just blew up a little bit too much for my liking and well, it's better to be uh, better to be safe than sorry. So we're at shore. It's a lifeboat house. Um, we are going to get the boat blown up and get out there. There's no real plan for the day. For sure and for me, I, oh, I, don't, I just don't. It's not I don't like it. It's nice and easy to launch. Look, on this beach. Anyone that's got a sib or is thinking about getting one, this is um, this is the ideal beach to launch on. You've got the breakwaters over there, so you've got one arm and you've got the other arm there. So that means no waves can smash into the beach. It's always a nice, easy launch, even if it's a bit rougher out there. You can always launch here. All right, it's a bit of a pain. Pulling a boat across the stones and on these few stones, but if it's a couple of you, it really is really not too hard at all. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. The sun's just coming up in the distance over there, as you can see. Um, yeah, I'm not going to jab on today. We're just going to get on with it. We are going to just get on with it. We're going to blow the boat up, get out in the water, and we'll we'll go from there because I still don't know exactly what the plan is today. So I will see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, we're out. We're uh, we're literally just sitting in the mouth of the of the harbour. Look, there's a chart boat gone out, fishing boat, a few people fishing up on the pier. Carlo and Carlo and Susie are over there. We're, we're copping a bit of waves. Go zooming on Carlo and Susie. Mr. and Mrs. Inflatable boat fishing. Out on the Mark 1 Hydrus, the original. Let's get past these boats. We just see some white bait jumping. She was having to go for some mackerel, but nothing about. So I think I'm going to just push out and and go for it, so we'll see you guys in a bit. There's about five or six boats out today with us. Well guys, it's a bit of an update. We're, uh, we've got a few mackerel, there's about 10 in the bucket I think. Um, Steve's just put a rod out, we're drifting. It's Carlo and Susie are over there, look. We are drifting. Uh, Steve's got a, just put a big ragworm out on a four hour hook. Um, I'm drifting with like a little bream rig on my little quiver tip rod, just having a little, I don't know. We're drifting towards Brighton Pier. Um, Turn you around, you can see how. Oh, I don't see my head this time in the morning. You can see how far we've drifted from Shoreham, and we literally have drifted this far. So, um, we've been out here now half hour, Steve. Right half hour, 40 minutes. Um, so there's a few mackerel about. We keep we've, we've got well, that's a mackerel rod sitting there, just it's, it, the, the, the motion of the boat, the motion of the ocean is doing it. Um, and as you can see, that nice quiver tip rod there is just bending nicely as we're drifting along. Um, Steve's doing not to say the same, he's got one out with mackerel feathers on. Um, so yeah, all good. We're probably going to give it another, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, and then, oh, was that a bite? Is that a bite? Cheers, that a bite? All. Cheers all. Uh, that's, that's disgusting. That's a fat coke. Um, and then we're going to shoot up all to pier, I think. Carlo knows a few marks out here, because Carlo fishes out here. This is his neck of the woods, so. Although I have been here, it's not my favourite place to go, but it was where the weather was good, and the boat was in the car, so. Right, we'll uh, hopefully show you some fishing a bit, guys. So we're having a 
the mood guys so that's Carlo and Susie on the original Hydras they're not on full throttle they're keeping up they're just staying with me they've got a 10 horsepower on theirs but mine's not running right today it's not revving enough um, but say two up look and it, see how it sits in the water lovely lovely boat and that's the original this is the Mark II what I've got um, they've got a few more gadgets on theirs posh world holders nice fish finder um, Carlo's got his on a trailer so we can keep it set up for longer which is obviously a bit better than what mine is at the minute because I have to keep rolling mine up um, as soon as my trailer's done and finished it will be it will be set up at all times I think can't wait can't wait well, well I'm only doing about five and a half knots it's painful today um, but outboards are a pain in the a pain in the rear when they're not running right but um, at least it's running um, it, it, it's not going to we're not, we won't be in trouble with it and Carlo's sticking to us all day anyway so if there was any problems he, he could help out but um, we will uh, hang on, what have we got in the bucket hang on a few mackerel in there lovely we haven't been greedy we've only taken what we needed we will probably get a few more a bit later on in the day maybe on the way in because Steve wants to take a few home from the table um, but again probably, probably maybe another 10 eat a few and, and freeze a few for a bit of bait so that's the way to do it. Right, well I'll bring you guys back uh, when we get there. Wherever, it, wherever, wherever there is. It's right guys, nothing to report yet. We're still drifting. We've come out a little bit further. We're just having a little drift over some rocks. Um, but I'm not really a fan of drifting, so I'm not going to be here much longer. Um, I'm going to go and get just get out there and anchor up somewhere and go and do a bit of proper fishing. I've got a live a whole mackerel out on a, on a live bait rod. Um, I just wanted to show you my chum, really. I don't, you see, I don't think you can see it. Let me just give it a little bag a shake. You see my chum. I'm not fishing for sharks. I just bought it because we was going to Celsius, but I want to give this a little shake. Look. Just look at that coming out. If only you could see the oils exploding on the surface as well. It's unbelievable. And that cloudiness will obviously just drift around everywhere. I'm going to lose my mackerel feathers, guys. Right, I've got a goat. <laughs> this is why I don't like drifting. Goat. Yeah. I don't know, actually. Yeah, it is on there. We're in. On a flapper. First fish on a mackerel flapper. Conga, a little strap. Oh, it is. Oh, there we go. Cool. It is only little. Oh, it's not even. Way oh, now we're in the boat. It was just holding on. Greedy little sh sh shiny. You got to pick that up now. I know. Let me just put my bait back down and I'll get it out of my boat. Yeah, and we're still Where's recording. He He's underneath you. Look. Oh, hold on. I'll get him. Oh, if I get a mac if I get a conga on that, that is going to be something else. Uh, <laughs> two, two seconds, guys. Stay Sorry. There we go, we're on the bottom. I'm trying to I can't right believe right. he wouldn't have just let go. Do you want All to right. wait? No. no. All right, fair right enough. Now. There we go. Cheers, guys. We're still on. We're still on. Right, so now we are anchored up. We are out, out. Carl and Susie are also anchored up over there. And um, hopefully, we'll, keep, we'll see a fish or two. Here we go. On the quiver tip rod, maybe? No, probably the motion of the boat. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. Right, I'll bring you back for the next one. Lovely. So, so Carlo's got one, and Steve's got one on the uh, on the ugly stick. Lovely. That's my first deal. First, first conga. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. There he goes. Dropped it. So they're not even looking themselves. Oh, Carlo's one. Carlo's one. Carlo's got a bigger one than you, Steve. Carlo's got a bigger one than me. Right, well, I'm gonna get my bait back down. We're on. It's a proper one, this one, I think. I say a proper one. I still ain't got a bait out from the last one. No, yet. it's not, it's tiny. What? It's tiny. I'll give you tiny. Oh, hold on, I wanna use my new tea bar. Massive thank you to Michael West. Shout out to see you there. Let's see if we can do it, because I couldn't use a tea bar when I was on Do you want me to take the rod? No, I'm gonna try and do I'm, it all. I'm, I'm trying to record and sway about and. I'm gonna try and do it all. So, Give me the rod. You that, need two hands. Right, right. That goes like that. That goes like that. Like that. Threatened it with a T bar. Snap a wire trace. Well, That's a face only a mother could love. <laughs> I'll bring you back. Carlo's got another one. There's plenty of congas here today. Well, that's, a, that's a better one. Carlo's got a bigger one than me and you, Steve. Yeah. And it's looked nicely. 
So he's just getting wet in a minute. <laughs> so nearly caught the fat up already. Right <laughs> See, that's that's the thing with the bigger fish. Oh, mine ain't hooking that boat. Yeah, no, I've got those gloves. It's alright, he's got another one. He's, he's the boss. One. He's got another one. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't want it going underneath the boat like it did earlier. No. Well, it looks like a conga trip, guys. Steve's having kittens. I think he's got yeah, a big fish. I'm going to zoom out. That's better. Zoom out? I'm not happy. No, but it's, I can't get far enough away. That was a problem with the tote the other day. Susie's in over there and all. You lost it? Yeah. Steve's Dropped useless. It. What's Susie got? Dropped it. Susie's got a big mackerel. Big mackerel. Big mackerel. I think I've got one on here as well. No, that's gone. That is gone. Um, I've got loads here, Carla. Steve's got one. Yeah. He might even show you it this time instead of keep dropping do. it. I might do. Let me zoom out again. Let's go a bit more. Oh, rain's starting again. Oh. What have you got, Steve? It's a toad. It's not. It's <laughs> a... Oh, it's a conga. Look, it's we ain't seen one of them all day. It's actually hooked. It's actually got a hook in it. It's actually got a hook in its mouth. Do you know how to do a T-bar? Do you want me to do it? But I, want a, I want a photo though. Right, you want a photo. Right, guys, I want one for the guys, album. I'm just going to, just, we're just going to get this in the boat and I get Steve a picture it, and then we'll put it back. No, the uh, camera's gone all fuzzy. Sorry guys, I've got to try and wipe this lens. Spinner. It's a spinner. It's a spinner. Well, there we go, let's focus now. Oh, and this is the one. On Wesley's special trace that he made me, but he swallowed oh, the is whole it? thing. Yeah, he yeah. swallowed the whole lot. He swallowed the whole lot, so I don't think it's going to work. Do you want the T bar? Yeah, please. Yeah. Well done. Oh, sorry, people, I'm recording the sea and not race for the fish. Oh, no. Oh, there guys, he goes. There goes my special rig that Wesley made. There goes. Oh. It wasn't long enough. Right, well, that's why we test these things. Yeah. That is exactly what happens. Needs to be oh, twice no. as long, Mike, right? Yes, Mike, it needs to be twice as long, please, love. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Steve's, Steve's in the middle of creaming his pants. I'm not creaming my pants. I'm just happy <laughs> because I've caught a bream. And now I'm going to act like a right tart. Yeah, you've got to and all, because don't drop it in my boat. T dropped it in my boat. I haven't put a hole in the floor. I need to put a hole in his head. Oh, look, he's cuddling it. Oh. <coughs> That's all right, Steve. Don't worry, mate. It's not your coat. Oh, they've got ganners. Yeah, they have got ganners. I'm like, picking that up like, like, like actual human teeth. Guess look, then. Hold on. Oh, I've got a numb bum. <sighs> Steve's dropped it. He's in the bucket. He's all right. Let's look. Go on. Steve's brain. Yes. Steve's brain. Brain Steve, for the table. Steve's going to eat this one. I am. Put him in there with those mackerel. In the back. Yeah, oh, look. Steve's yeah. doing all right for mackerel too. Lovely jubbly. All right. Hopefully we'll see some more people. Yeah. Steve's on, uh, was oh, that on Ragworm? That was on Ragworm. Dug by Yourself? the Maddie Man. Dug by the Maddie Man, whoever that is. Yeah. Some tip from Gillingham. Exactly that. <laughs> Stevie boy's got another broom. Lug that time. Oh, on lug. He's at me. He is at me. Yeah. Well done, mate. Well, fishing is a bit slow, but it's just one of them days. We're, we're here now. This is going to be this is going to be our resting place until we go back in, I think. But yeah, we can't wait from Shoreham. That's that that pole there is Shoreham. That's where we want to go back. Well, it's a little bit further along the coast, but yeah, I mean, yeah, we're quite far out. As you can see, it's a bit choppier now as well. You all right, mate? Yeah. All good. Be. All right. Good shout out to Mike West with his Matching Scratch. Yes, Matching Scratch. I'm using the small chinos on chinos on mine, but I'm not getting a bite because I'm not using Steve's special lug and rag. <laughs> Alright, in a bit. And we're on. Oh, I've got one as oh, well. Steve's got one as well. Steve, oh. hold yours just a sec. Yeah. Just want to show my rig. So guys, we're on these bream now. There just seems to be oh. loads of them. Keep it on there. Yeah, yeah. One. That's a nice one. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. I'm trying. Come here. Right. I've got a fish on mine. Go on, you take on the boat. Right, guys, so oh. we, there's quite a few of them about at the minute. It's a very simple rig. Ledge just tied on the bottom. Just literally tied on the bottom. Um, let me just take this little fellow off. Let me just take this little fellow off. Oh, I'll just show you. So I'm um, short, short rig, very short. Loops all tied. It's pretty pants. Sorry that it's not focusing. Um, and a, one of, nice one. One, of uh, oh, one of the sea glow pop-ups. Ouch. Bullet pop-ups. Sorry. As you can see, Steve's trying to pop my boat. Yeah. And then 
the small size. Oh, I'm doing the same. The small size two C globe um, chin hooks. The best smashing it, honestly. Like little, little, and baits that big. Little piranhas. Little, they are like little piranhas, aren't they? Yeah. Little piranhas. So yeah, happy days. Passing the time in between the congas, which we are still getting as well. Little guys, we haven't recorded every conga, so we've had a lot of mistakes. We have, yeah. we have had quite a few yeah, congas. I've been spoiled the congas. Yeah, that I mean, I wouldn't say they've been massive, but there's been lots of them. So, yeah, what? Well, anyway, in a bit. Steve's just had a nice one. If you can pick it up, can't you, Steve? So I should bring. I will do. Hold on. That's it. I'm taking it home. There we go. Lovely. Hang on, let's get a picture of that. That's a good picture of that. Good picture. Shame I can't cut your head out of it and make it better. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, monstrous. Hang on. That's a thumbnail if I've ever seen one. Cheers, Steve. The amount of times he's dropped bream today in this boat, I'm going to need that new air deck. <laughs> right, guys, that is a wrap. We're going in now. The rain is coming down. The fishing was pretty pants. Steve caught oh, his first. The fishing was brilliant. Sorry, Steve caught his first bream. And conga. And conga, and loads more to go with it. I think he's got three in there for the table. Yeah. I'm going back with a few mackerel for bait. Gonna make a bit more rubby dubby out of some of them as well. But um, Steve's got a few to take home for the table and all. So, all in all, it's turned out not too bad, apart from this bloody weather. It's just kicked off. Um, this just kicked off again, yeah. Um, but we are really, really planning to get out now on Tuesday. Today's Sunday. We're really planning to try and get out on Tuesday to go after them tote at Celsius, because that is the plan. I know I'm putting up a lot of SIB videos at the minute, but the weather's closing in, the summer's disappearing very fast. Well, the summer's gone, isn't it? We're autumn now, but I just want to get out and use it as much as I can before the weather turns rough. Um, I will get back to the beach fishing, guys, when there's something to catch on the beach, because at the minute, there ain't, not really. Not around where I live. Um, Chesil's coming up very soon. Next, not next weekend, weekend after. But that's 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 a special announcement. I'm not going to say nothing about that yet. Um, but yeah, once again, guys, thank you for watching. If you are interested in an inflatable boat, just like this one, I mean, it's a pretty rough day, and well, it's fine. I say pretty rough. It's slightly lumpy. Um, the man you want to speak to is down there, Carlo. Find him on Facebook, um, inflatableboatfishing.com. Um, He's actually got a new shipment of boats, the Hydra Free is coming in tomorrow, um, that he's going to pick up. Um, and I think there might be three or four spare out of this batch, so if anyone was interested, now's the time. Now is the time. Um, make, make sure you mention Fish Hunter, because um, there's a good chance you might get a bit of a deal. Whether it be a couple of quid off, or I'm pretty certain he's doing three launch wheels. Three set of long tools worth 130 quid, I think that's what they were. They could be more now because of Brexit, Brexit and all that old malarkey. But yeah, um, that's that. Thanks guys. I'm going to put my phone away because it's pissing hot <laughs> in a bit.